Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the Week 13 AP Top 25 poll in college basketball is out, and I'm going to go over the rankings and see what I think about them this week. Purdue is still the number one team after winning at Michigan and winning against Michigan State this past week, and Matt Painter's team is on a roll. They only have one loss this year, and Zach Eady has been a beast all season long for the Boilermakers. And as long as Purdue does not lose another game, they will stay the number one team. Tennessee is the number two team, benefiting from Alabama losing at Oklahoma. And Tennessee does have three losses, but they won against Georgia and they won against Texas this past week. That was a big win for Rick Barnes to beat his former team in Texas. And Tennessee has been on a roll lately. And if they keep playing the way they are in the SEC, and if Purdue drops a game later on down the road, then Tennessee can maybe be the number one team eventually. Houston's the number three team, and they won at UCF, and they won against Cincinnati this past week. And this was a big week for Kelvin Sampson's Houston Cougars team to bounce back after that tough loss to Temple. Houston's still a really good team, and they're having a great season. They did have a slip-up, but they were able to bounce back and get two solid wins this week. Alabama drops to number four after they won against Mississippi State, and they lost at Oklahoma. That was a really tough loss at Oklahoma. Alabama's been a dominant team all season, but they did struggle a little bit against Mississippi State and then going on the road at Oklahoma they just did not play well in that game at all and Alabama has been playing well in SEC play so if they can get past that Big 12 SEC challenge loss at Oklahoma and re-enter SEC play and keep playing the way they were before then Alabama should be fine. Arizona's at number five and they won at Washington State and they won at Washington this past week. Arizona was dominant non-conference play but since they've entered the Pac-12 they've had some ups and downs. They've suffered three losses to teams they should have beaten in conference play but everybody does struggle in conference sometimes and the Pac-12 does have some solid teams but Arizona took care of business this past week and they got two good Pac-12 wins on the road and Arizona definitely deserves to be in the top five right now. Virginia's at number six and they won against Boston College this past week. Virginia had some struggles early on in the season but now that they've entered ACC play and the fact that a lot of other teams have been losing in the top 25 these past few weeks, Virginia's been climbing the rankings and if they keep playing well in the ACC and if Tony Bennett can keep getting the Cavaliers to win big games, then Virginia will keep moving up. Kansas State's at number seven and they lost at Iowa State and they won against Florida this past week. That was a really tough loss at Iowa State for Kansas the state losing at Hilton Coliseum one of the toughest crowds in college basketball it's not a bad loss and Jerome Tang's team is still having a great season and they were able to get a win over Keontae Johnson's former team in the Florida Gators in the Big 12 SEC Challenge that was a great win for Kansas State and Keontae Johnson he's one of the best stories in college basketball this year being able to come back and play college basketball at this high of a level and for Keontae Johnson to be able to get a win over his former team that is really awesome for him and the Kansas State Wildcats Kansas is at number eight and they lost at Baylor and they won at Kentucky Kentucky this past week. Kansas was on a three-game losing streak, and losing at Baylor at the beginning of the week was not a bad loss. Baylor's been playing much better basketball as of late, but Kansas was able to bounce back and win at Kentucky and not have the first four-game losing streak in the Bill Self era. Winning at Rupp Arena even this year with Kentucky not playing as well as they usually do. Still a great win for the Kansas Jayhawks, and they definitely still have a top 10 resume right now. UCLA's at number nine, and they lost at USC this past week. They lost their last two games. They lost at Arizona the week before, and losing at USC as well this past week. Both losses are not bad, but UCLA is going to have to start winning some games in the Pac-12 again if the Bruins want to stay in the top 10. Mick Cronin really has a good team, but he's going to have to get the Bruins back on the right track. Texas is at number 10, and they won against Oklahoma State, and they lost at Tennessee this past week. Texas has kind of been a bit up and down. They've had some struggles in the Big 12 where they've barely been finding ways to win, but they were able to actually get a pretty solid win over Oklahoma State, winning by a decent amount. But then they lost at Tennessee. They just could not get anything going against the Volunteers. They tried to keep the game close, but they were not able to get the win over Rick Barnes' Tennessee team. But Texas is still hanging on as a top-10 team right now. Baylor's at number 11. They won against Kansas, and they won against Arkansas this past week. And Baylor is one of the hottest teams in college basketball right now. Scott Drew has really turned the Bears around after they fell out of the top 25, but they've won six games in a row, and they're playing fantastic basketball in the Big 12. And if they keep winning, Baylor can move into the top 10. Gonzaga's at number 12, and they won at Portland this past week. And as long as Gonzaga can keep winning, they'll stay in the top 25 because there's not too many big games left in West Coast Commerce play. Gonzaga just cannot slip up and lose any more games to teams like Loyola Marymount. Gonzaga still looks like a solid team, maybe not as good as they've been the last few years, but Mark Few is going to have to keep the Gonzaga Bulldogs winning in the West Coast Conference if they want to stay in the top 25. Iowa State's at number 13, and they won against Kansas State, and they lost at Missouri this past week. That was a huge win for Iowa State to get a win over Kansas State at home, but then they went on the road and lost at Missouri. That was a really tough loss. Missouri played fantastic in that game. 
and it was kind of like Alabama losing at Oklahoma in the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Iowa State could not go on the road and get the win, but for Iowa State with that one over Kansas State, they did not move too far down the top 25 rankings, and they're still a top 15 team for now. Marquette's at number 14, and they won at DePaul this past week, and Shock as far as had the Golden Eagles playing fantastic basketball. Marquette is at the top of the Big East right now, and if they keep playing the high level of basketball that they're playing right now, Marquette could potentially move into the top 10. TCU's at number 15, and they won against Oklahoma, and they lost at Mississippi State this past week. It was a really good win for TCU over Oklahoma, but unfortunately for TCU, going on the road at Mississippi State, their best player, Mike Miles, got hurt in the first five minutes of the game, and he was not able to return, and they cannot get the win at Mississippi State. And if Mike Miles does not return, it's going to be really tough for TCU to get some wins in the Big 12. But Jamie Dixon is a fantastic coach, so maybe he can keep the Horn Frogs on the winning path without him, but hopefully for TCU, they can get Mike Miles back. Xavier's at number 16, and they won at UConn, and they lost at Creighton this past week. Even though UConn's been struggling as of late, that was a really good win for Xavier, but then Xavier had to go on the road at Creighton, and that was a really tough loss. Creighton's been playing much better basketball as of late, and they cannot get the win against the Blue Jays, but Xavier is still one of the top teams in the Big East. They have lost two of their last four games, but if Sean Miller can get the Musketeers back on track, Xavier still has a really good shot to win the Big East. Providence is at number 17, and they won against Butler this past week, and they won at Villanova, and that was a really good win for Providence over Butler. They were able to get a comfortable win over Butler, but then they went on the road and barely won at Villanova, and Justin Moore, who's been out hurt for Villanova all year, he was able to return in this game, and Providence did struggle against Villanova, but they were able to pull out the win. St. Mary's is at number 18, and they won at BYU this past week. That was a really great win for St. Mary's. They've been on a roll in West Coast Commerce play, but if they had a loss at BYU, they probably would have dropped out of the top 25, even though a lot of other teams lost, and BYU is a tough place to play, and they're usually one of the best teams in the West Coast Conference, but they haven't been doing as well this year. So St. Mary's, to be able to get the buzzer-beating win over BYU to help them move up in the top 25 rankings and help out their resume for the tournament. That was a really big win for the Gales. Florida Atlantic's at number 19, and they won against Middle Tennessee State, and they won against Western Kentucky this past week. And Florida Atlantic, as long as they keep winning in Conference USA, they'll stay in the top 25, but they have to keep winning because if they do slip up, they could drop out of the top 25 in a heartbeat. Clemson's at number 20, and they won against Georgia Tech, and they won at Florida State this past week. Clemson played really well against Georgia Tech, but when they went on the road at Florida State, they almost lost this game. They only won by one point. If Clemson had a loss, they probably would have fell out of the top 25, and it would have been a ding on their tournament resume. The Clemson was able to pull out the win, but for Brad Brownell's team, a win is a win, and Clemson stays in the top 25 for now. Indiana's at number 21, and they won at Minnesota, and they won against Ohio State this past week. Indiana's been going through some injury issues, but they're starting to get healthy now, and they were in the top 10 of the AP Top 25 poll earlier in the season, but Indiana fell all the way out of the top 25, but they've won five in a row. They're starting to play really good basketball in the Big Ten, and they enter the top 25 at number 21, and if Mike Woodson's team can stay healthy and keep getting some wins in Big Ten play, they'll continue to stay in the top 25. San Diego State's at number 22, and they won against Utah State, and they won against San Jose State this past week. And Brian Dutcher always has San Diego State at the top of the Mountain West, and the Aztecs are playing really good basketball this year, and they re-enter the top 25 after having a brief absence out of it. But if San Diego State can keep getting wins in the Mountain West then the Aztecs will stay in the top 25 as well. Miami's at number 23, and they won at Florida State, and they lost at Pittsburgh this past week. And unlike Clemson, Miami beat Florida State pretty soundly on the road, but then they could not get a win at Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh's a much better team this year. But that was a really tough loss for Miami, and they almost fell out of the top 25. But a lot of other teams lost, and Miami only has five losses this year, and they stay in the top 25 for now. UConn's at number 24, and they lost to Xavier at home this past week. That's not a bad loss for UConn, but they've lost six of their last eight games and it's been a really tough stretch for the Huskies, and Dan Hurley's going to have to turn things around for UConn, and they're going to have to start winning some Big East games because if they don't, they're definitely going to fall out of the top 25. And Auburn's at number 25, and they lost to Texas A&M, and they lost at West Virginia this past week. This was a tough week for the Auburn Tigers. They dropped from number 15 to number 25, and they're barely hanging on in the AP Top 25 poll, and Bruce Pearl's going to have to get things turned around for Auburn if they want to stay in the top 25 rankings. And sometimes in the middle of the season, you go through a rough stretch, and Auburn losing at home to Texas A&M. They broke their long home game winning streak. And then losing at West Virginia, even though Bob Huggins is a great coach and West Virginia is playing better basketball this year, it was still a really tough loss for Auburn. They're going to have to start winning this week if they want to stay in the top 25. And Charleston and New Mexico dropped out of the AP Top 25 rankings for losing games this past week. And the teams in the other team votes, you have Missouri, Charleston, Illinois, Creighton, New Mexico, North Carolina, NC State, Boise State, Duke, 
Rutgers, Texas A&M, Northwestern, Memphis, Pittsburgh, Arkansas, Nevada, West Virginia, Oral Roberts, St. Louis, and USC. These are all teams that are really close to being in the AP Top 25 poll. And a lot of these teams have been at the AP Top 25 poll at some point this season, but they're just on the outside of it right now. But if they can start getting some big wins, they'll re-enter the AP Top 25 poll. So that is the Week 13 AP Top 25 poll rankings in college basketball. As we're getting further and further into conference play, a lot of teams are moving up and down these rankings. And it's going to be very interesting to see how these rankings shake out as we get closer to March Madness and to see which teams are going to be on the right and wrong side of the bubble come March Madness. Comment down below what you think about the Week 13 AP Top 25 poll in college basketball and how you think the AP voters rank the teams this week. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below, and I will see you next time.